Welcome back to Battle for Neighborville. I actually just had a pretty decent game. As much as I would love to stay in this lobby, I do sort of need to back out. Uh, basically, this time we're taking a look at the Acorn. I have to back out because I've actually just gotten to level 10. I really want to be sat around playing a level 10 character when I could just promote him. Jesus Christ, these frames. Feels like I'm playing on a mobile phone. But 8 then, level 10, what the hell is that? That's an interesting looking sunflower. You ever heard of Factor 50? All right then, let's get him promoted. And then we'll hit multiplayer. Little friend. Hold more shell shot and wood grease. Okay, I didn't even get a chance to read that. I didn't even get a chance to read all that. Let's have a look at these new upgrades. Knock enemy away when hit by roll for damage. Is that not what it does anyway? Hold more shell shot and wood grief ammo. Treetop turret overheats slower. Um, I'll probably just stick with what I have now. So Acorn is a pretty interesting little character. A lot of people essentially consider Acorn to just be an imp on the plants. Which, I mean, I was sort of one of the people who said that. I mean, I'll say this much. Acorn by himself is actually pretty pathetic he's got this little thing that he can shoot he can do that and he can do that and he don't hit that much damage so he kind of sucks but then of course he has a trump card up his sleeve that instantly makes him amazing you can just hit the y button anytime you want and this motherfucker shows up. And I wasn't anticipating there'd be a soldier up my ass the second I called it in. Allow me to introduce you to my big man. He's big. And basically, big man is an amazing character. Something like 300 base hit points. Hold on, let me deal with this. Dude, what the hell is this frame rate? This ain't even 30 FPS right now. This is like 13. Yeah, big man has like 300 hit points. Has some pretty solid abilities and... The game's already over. Has some pretty solid abilities and also hits like a train. And as if that wasn't good enough, you can jump out the thing anytime you want. And unlike the Z-Mech, there's absolutely no cooldown. You can literally jump out the big man, go and get your health back, and then immediately jump back in him again. Oh yes, I got one vanquish. Nailed it. If I could have a round where the game runs in more than two frames a second, that'd be nice. Game begins in 30 seconds. It's actually a pretty good map for Acorn. Not implying that I know fuck all about these maps. I've done a couple rounds on this one with Acorn. Do you know, it's all right. Okay, I'll, I'll take the assist. I don't know what the criteria is for getting a shared vanquish in this game, but I feel like you have to take 90% of their health. Otherwise, you just get an assist. All right, I'll take it. All right, that was messy. Got my health back, jump straight back in the big man again. He didn't die from that? Oh, yeah, I don't even know what happened. Don't get me wrong. I'm really enjoying this game right now. It is an absolute blast. Um, however, I think a bit of optimizing probably wants doing. Because at the moment, it feels like I'm playing on a fucking N64. Oh, that's the money shot. 125 damage. Does it seriously need to hit that much? That's actually disgusting. I mean, it's got quite a long cooldown, to be fair, so... Mate, that's so cheap. That's literally a free C4 that would probably insta-kill most characters. I don't know how you're supposed to legislate for that. Oh, hang on, I'll back up a little bit. Call in the big man. Mate, he's big. Honestly, we could probably just sit and stomp him out from up here. Dead soldier. I don't know how that ain't a dead fucking scientist. My guy, I just blew him to bits. Mate, that's OP. That's actually so OP. That is one of the cheapest abilities I've ever seen. That actually puts Husk Hop to shame. I think, honestly, once they optimize this game, a lot of these characters will probably feel better. But the thing is, at the moment, like, there isn't a consistent frame rate. It seems to sort of, like, come and go between anything from, like, 10 to 60. I'm on a 14 kill streak. He literally just came up and stood in front of me. Alright, double kill. Don't mind if I do. Dude, my guy is actually just sitting in the corner with P. Gatling. Dude, this shit stutters more than Rowan Atkinson in a TV interview. Mate, call him my big man. He's big. Dude, a 20 kill streak. This character is fucking insane. Mate, what? <laughs> Jeez, it's like it can't fucking keep up with itself.
Jump out! Dude, what the fuck? Did that ZPG kill me? Bro, that was more delayed than my fucking coursework. Well, I'm guessing the aliens won't be visiting. Okay, well, aside from the game shitting itself for at least 75% of that, not a bad game. An acorn. Not a bad character.